If you guys are following this channel, then you know that I did tutorials, short movies, music, but at the very, very beginning, I did some vlogs and I did some, some travel videos, which I still enjoy to go back and watch. And yes, this is the reason why I'm recording this video and I'm posting it on YouTube, so my older version can come back in, in five years, look at it as a memory or, or just a, a nostalgia. 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 As you can see in this video's title, later tonight we're traveling to Denver, Colorado, which is the city that I always wanted to visit. But the more I look into the what to do list, the more I get upset. Because yes, this is a really beautiful city to live at. A lot of parks, museums, family activities, restaurants, bars. But as far as tourist locations, I will try my best. We just got to Denver and uh, we'll see if we can uh, get some food before we go to the hotel. So, food. Here's the thing, we just got to the hotel, but we realized that we came to the wrong hotel and now we're asking for an Uber to pick us up and that will be a 20 minute ride. And when we asked the lady if this is a walking distance, she's like, well, it really depends what you consider as a walking distance. And <laughs> she was right. <laughs> For some people, two hours is a walking distance. <laughs> Let's go. Everything is closed, so... About Denver, it's a city. Well, of course she meant to say that Denver is a beautiful city, right? <laughs> it's cold. It's just cold. <laughs> so, this is the next day morning. This is the test for the wind. Let's see how this microphone is doing with this. And uh, we are going to the Red Rock Amphitheater. That's how you say it? Red Rock. Uh, amphitheater, yes. Well, I said amphitheater. Yeah. All right. Two immigrants trying to figure out how to English. All right. B-roll. taking the W line and we're going all the way down to the Federal Center Station. As I said, you will need to take this subway or whatever, ferry, subway, what is it? What is this called? Train. The train all the way down here and from here you will take an Uber. Well, we just got to the Red Rock Amphitheater and it's it's pretty. It's a nice view. I like the view. You do? Yes. You know who would like this? Lori. Lori would like this. <laughs> do you know do you know what is Lori's last name? Boozy. Yeah, it's it's Lori Boozy. <laughs> All right, let me show you the the amphitheater. <laughs> Let's go.
right, well, this is a somewhat natural amphitheater uh, formed with red rocks. That's why the name is Red Rock Amphitheater. And uh, uh, about 60 or 70 years ago, it was open up for public and some big names were lured here to give concerts like, like Jimi Hendrix, The Beatles, Grateful Dead and Dolly Rose. I'm not kidding. Tomorrow doesn't exist like it doesn't exist. Now, the wireless microphone is really helpful if your girlfriend is not taking it away from you. <laughs> so, here's the thing either way, I think I will need to re record the audio with what I said, but I was recording explanation about this amphitheater that it can host up to 10,000 people and uh, I was just talking to the camera and you have the microphone oh <laughs> so that's what I was saying but it's okay now this is typically the area of what you can see in the movies when the cowboys two cowboys are down here and then the Native Americans are just getting up all that line if you guys are familiar with this area you also know that Buffalo Bill is from from these lands too and uh, he got his nickname because he was such a great buffalo hunter that he became Buffalo Bill. And then later on he became a good showman. I mean, if you, if you ever saw the trick when somebody flips a coin and he takes out his gun and he shoots the coin, well, that's Buffalo Bill and he started that. Here's a clip. Hit that baby right there. That was the tip of that bullet. There's a party downtown, someone says that you're coming by Let me know when you're here, meet me up for a smoke outside So here's a cool concept, something that I've never seen in my life. So we are in a marketplace, it's called the Milk Market, and there are 8 to 10 to maybe 12 restaurants in one place, and we just come here at the table we sit down wherever we want and there are scanners url codes on the table and you scan it with your phone you order and they will bring it out they will bring out your food here to your desk and you don't you don't have to go anywhere and right now we are sitting right next to a pizza shop at a bar there's pizza but if i want i can order food from from any of the other restaurants this this concept is, is great it should be used more often all right so now what i'm gonna do is to show a couple more areas that just make sense to visit as a tourist and it's not just a restaurant or we're not a patisserie or not a dessert place so since a lot of places are already closed let's go to the denver art museum which which looks amazing from the outside. <laughs> now the closer you get to the art museum, you realize that the real art is, is outside and in the surroundings too. Like if you look at the ground, there is art. If you look at the buildings, there is art. And, and this is something special here in, in Denver, because if you look at the buildings, you will realize that most of the buildings around here, the art museum, are influenced by, by different century style bu buildings. Like, there's a castle. That, that from the front looks like Greek buildings. And this too, but somehow I feel like America has grabbed this style and you can find buildings like this in any big city. Now how I was talking about different styles of buildings here in the center of Denver, well, meet, meet modernism. This is the Denver Art Museum, uh, designed by architect uh, Gio Ponti and uh, well, it's different. All right, well, we tried to go in, but because of the coronavirus, there are some regulations 
and uh, today we, we cannot go inside. But if you're coming to Denver, make sure that you visit the art museum because there are a lot of Native American arts in here and this museum is house of 70 other thousand uh, uh, works of art. And also it has cows in the front, <laughs> seriously. All right, well, this is the state capital of Colorado and just like in the other big cities or other big uh, uh, state capitals, there's a park in front of the, the Capitolium and uh, in that park, just like in other big cities, there are hundreds of homeless people like, like this is the way how they're trying to, to protest against, uh, against the upper management of the state to, to people who are working here. Let me upset you. I don't think that they care. Now that I invested the second part of this vlog or this video to, to talk about the style of buildings, I wanted to show you one more building. It's the Basilica of the Immaculate Conceptions, which is a Roman Catholic building, but there were so many homeless people at, right there that I couldn't record with my big camera. And I still tried it, but it was just upsetting. So, as I said in the beginning of the video, I see Denver as a place where you can go out to have fun and you can go out to have a couple drinks and, uh, and the whole city is about just having fun. So, let me not talk about the touristic options. Let's just go and, <laughs> and get drunk. <laughs> I just hope that we're still okay. You always pick me up the It looks bad, but it's bison, French bison from Boulder, Boulder. Bo <laughs> Alright, well how should I talk about the Denver restaurant and bar situation? Uh, it's really weird for me that restaurants and bars are adding 20% uh, tip already to your bill automatically and then you can tip more if you want but I still believe the Pennsylvania way is correct when they offer you they give you the prices for the food and the drink and then you can give them as much tip as you want now yes I realize that sometimes people are asshole and they are not giving enough to support the bartender the waitress but at the same time I don't want that to be taken out just because, just because. Uh, but to be said, I still think that the European way is, is the best when waitresses, bartenders are actually paid and a tip is actually an extra to them, which, which is just, just to be polite and not a mandatory thing. But we're going to check out one more place. We're going to the left here. And then from there, home because tomorrow we are going to Texas. So as a conclusion, let me talk about my experiences and my views about Denver, Colorado. If I would be an ignorant person, I would push my nose up high. So I would only see the food, the places, the beautiful people, the nice people. And that would be only, only half of my experiences. 
I really believe that Denver, Colorado is a really good representation of the 21st century America because on every single corner there is a homeless person either shouting, laughing, yelling or begging. When you come here you can start to feel your privilege and your privilege is, is not a color but that you can still walk on a thin ice and you still have a job or, or probably that your mental health is, is slightly better than somebody else's. And yes, today we had fun. We were traveling, we were eating, we were walking around and we were drinking. But at a couple spots we had to we had to wake up from our purple traveling bubble and we had to realize that the America we are building is not built with concrete, but it's built with with plastic bags and tents. So we are slowly getting out of the pandemic. Let's turn America back into a first world country. That's all I can say about Denver. It's a really nice place to visit, but what I see, 